I'm here at Aesthetical Ballroom and we're talking about the Basic Bronze class which starts next Tuesday at 6.45. Um, I'm Melanie Dale. I'm here at Aesthetical Ballroom in Pleasant Valley Promenade in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I have three beautiful men here and they're going to ask some women to come and join this class. Believe it or not, we had more men than women last semester. And so I wanted them to answer questions that maybe you have about the class or maybe you have about the ballroom or just that you have about dancing in general. So the first thing is um, I offered a bonus with this class. It was a $297 um, value and it was called Master the Elements. And I wanted you to tell me, did you like it? Did you study it? And what did you like about it? This is, yeah, yeah this, this is Leo. This is Leo, yeah. I started off with that, I did it. It was, it was by assigned homework for my, prior to my first lesson with you. And uh, I, it, I went through all five of them. I think what you get out of it, 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 what I got out of it immediately was, this is going to be easier than I originally thought because I am the typical two left feet um, just that I'm here because I've got favorite daughter is getting married in a year. I have two boys and a girl. I get away with saying favorite daughter. And I did not want to be that guy that's just shuffling around like he doesn't know what he's going to do. And I was, it, it's a bit intimidating when I've never danced. I'm 60 some years old. I've never danced. And I'm going to have to do it at the wedding. So, uh, but it made it seem, this is tractable. I can do this. So, yeah. And then the other thing I'll mention about it is you get into a little bit more complicated the swing steps, even on that. And it's like, okay, uh, triple steps, um, but you know what? I can do that. You break it down nicely, and you know, I'm, I'm a little bit klutzy to start with, but. <laughs> you did really well. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Dylan. Yeah. Um, what I liked about that. Oh. <clears throat> what I liked about uh, Master Elements, uh, I didn't look into it about the, the third or fourth class. Uh, afterwards, but it gave kind of an eye opener, um, and it, it, I kind of I could process my uh, on my own. Um, I could process it on my own uh, my own time, my own, my own method at home, which I kind of liked. Um, it was very specific and went over. I had questions during the videos, but I answered that as I kept following through the videos, which was nice. Um, it gave examples, and they had some worksheets I could I could use to kind of remember my steps. But that's kind of step-by-step -step basics, which really helped it along, I mean, more than anything. I mean, it, it made it so that dance, you know, when you're doing... <laughs> See, people always having fun over here. I know, uh, there's a lot going on. I'm always having fun. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. <laughs> yeah. But the, you know, it kind of broke it down bit by bit, so, you know, that kind of intimidation factor was there when you first got into that class, you know, it wasn't kind of something that hit you in the face and you were kind of stumbling to grasp. It was something that, you know, you knew. And you didn't go into it totally blind and ignorant. Oh, no, not Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Even, even though, you know, sometimes I was wearing, you know, uh, what's, what's that called when you put on your blinders? Blinders? <laughs> um, maybe so. <laughs> Did you find it difficult? Did any of you find Master the Elements difficult? Uh, no, I was, I, it, was, it, was, it wasn't like an overwhelming amount of information. It was very specific on what it wanted to teach you at each step. Um, yeah. You hand that one little chart out that shows the, st I forget whether it starts with mechanical, technical, and then you start to, you know, it, it becomes like riding a bike. You, you, you I forget memory. what the next start muscle memory you start doing it. And, you know, you started out knowing that we are going to be very mechanical uh -huh. with it. And you, you know, mastering the elements was okay. We can be that way. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We can be a, a little stiff at first, but, <laughs> but then, you know, after, after a while you get kind of used to it and you're like, all right, I think we can move a little bit. <laughs> Okay, how engaging was it? Did it keep your interest? Like, did it get boring or was it easy to follow? And did it keep your interest on, on video because you weren't with a live person? 
Yeah, I kept, I kept my interest. Uh, it would go over, I mean, it varied between going like a slow pace and, high, and fast, faster pace. And I like the, how you kind of included music that I could listen to or play with to kind of practice on my, on my own. And each of the five, they're 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 short and compact enough and focused enough that that uh, you you move through them and you're ready for the next one. Yeah. I but, think they're about ten minutes each. Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't know they were that long. Yeah. 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 So, and each uh, each one has like a bonus thing for the next um, for the next step, if you'd like. Yeah. yeah. So show you how it how the elements apply to the dances. It was really 10 minutes. It wasn't really 10 minutes. It did not feel I like 10 feel minutes. Like, no, no. <laughs> what about the music part? Did you learn anything about music? <clears throat> well, like the, uh, how what, to count? Yeah, well, I kind of, you know, I kind of had like a marching band back, background, you know, so I could count with the beats. Um, instead of having stiff legs and feet, that it kind of helped me kind of be a little more fluid with my steps, which I like. Uh, but I did like the music because I could kind of practice with that or even play and try to do the counts in my head before even trying to do the move. Okay. Yeah. And you know from working with me, I'm, I'm always trying to think how does this fit in with the beat. That yeah, I, you're, I'm you're like you, I have a little bit of music background, mind. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you have fun doing it? Absolutely, yeah. It, 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 it was fun getting more uh, past the intimidated portion into the more comfortable. I'm here to learn how to have more fun with it. Well, don't you think it's intimidating for most men to walk into a, a ballroom? Absolutely. It, it, it didn't intimidate him. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's intimidating, <laughs> but then again, you know, having eyes on I mean, is another kind of factor. But when well, you're, is it intimidating? When, Was it intimidating to you? It's not so much intimidating. Like I said, I, you just don't want to be that guy that just doesn't know what to but, do. You walk up with a woman, you feel like you're at your eighth grade dance and it's the first time with a girl. Did and, I help you <laughs> and, overcome oh, yeah. your nerves, being nervous, it, anxious? Um, yeah, you've mentioned it uh, other times, just the confidence, that, that's that's but, where it's going to take Okay, you. but when yeah. you came in here, you were probably anxious, so did the environment help you? Did the studio environment make it hard? Or no, it made, it, it made it easier. I mean, I had some, I, I probably overthink, overthought it a little bit before we're coming here, but the, my peers, the environment was just, it's friendly, and you know, you're obviously gonna fall over, mess up a couple of times, but that's kind of that's part of that, that, that growing process. Uh, but everyone's very polite and here to help each other out and learn together, which I, which I really like this class for those mm -hmm. reasons. Yeah, when, when you're learning to ride a bike, you know, you fall off a couple of times, <laughs> yeah. you get up, hopefully you're not too bruised up, and, and then you get, get right back on it. But you're very good, too, with, with the beginners. You know how fast we can move, what, how much we can take in. You, I could tell you're monitoring me. Is he picking this up? How, how you're can, the I one in the class. can I push him? Can I slow? <laughs> can I slow? Do I need to slow the music down? Do I need to start that again? Can we move on to the next one? You're, I could see you're evaluating me and what I can do, and you're adjusting to me. So that's oh, working out good. Good, you're the only one in the class, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought if, since we had a big class, you might not be able to see everybody, but I think you do a, a great job of when you're able to make sure everyone's. I you don't know. miss. No, 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 no
So what kind of things do you think dancing solves as far as what are the benefits of um, learning how to dance? I know you haven't had a lot of experience, but how do you see it helping you in different ways? Uh, well, I'd definitely be uh, a confidence boost, just kind of knowing you can kind of use your leg to feel a little better in, in situations. You know, you don't have to. What situations? Well, you know, if you're kind of celebrating something or mm -hmm. you know, you're going somewhere, you don't have to be that, that person that's up against the wall just eating food or drinking most of the time. Well, you know, I'm busy, I can't dance, but now you can really kind of participate and also enjoy it, you know. Um, yeah, it kind of gives you that incentive to get out there on the dance floor, use what you learn, and maybe, you know, hopefully you don't break a tail along the two. Yeah. <laughs> and you met my wife the other day. You know, after 40 years, she tried to teach me to dance when we were dating before we got married. And now she said, it took, took me 40 years to get him here. But that's going to be a benefit for me. I'm going to be, she likes to dance. So I'm, I'm sure we have a lot of, you know, female friends, partners who, who dance a lot more than we did, grew up with it. And for them now to have a partner who can, who can keep up with them on the floor is going to be great. Might even spur a little romance. Yeah, it could. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things like you you build up that connect connection, right? You had that like yeah. human element to yeah, it. I mean, you know, dancing is its own kind of you know language. You know, when you're when you're on the dance floor, with people, you know, um, beats doing the dishes cool. together too. Yeah. Beats doing the dishes. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it is one hell of a hobby compared to yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what? What would you say to people that are thinking about coming here to take the basic bronze program? Basic bronze class. I have a whole, a whole lot to say on that, but I won't let you guys go first. I, I mean, I can't say enough about this class. Um, just be prepared to kind of learn. Uh, keep, getting, keep being engaged and ask questions, and it will really pay off. Um, the, the environment's great. The peers are, are fun to work with, and I really enjoy the teacher. They also had some practice sessions that came with the class. So on Tuesday nights, we're going to have the class, and then afterwards, we're going to have a practice session. So there's more involved than just taking a class and going home. Right. You have a couple of um, times every other week to come out and practice. And some of you haven't come to the Friday night thing, but the Tuesday night is for beginners, and that's where you feel more comfortable. And um, yeah, I think that that's a real plus because you need to practice. I mean, they say they, they say to learn something you need around a thousand hours to master it, right? But for dancing, I don't think you need a thousand hours to understand the basics. You just need you know maybe fifty hours, maybe if that, to really get the thrill of it and enjoy it. And it's been exciting to see the the, the whole program you have has got me. You know, I, I, my initial objective was just to get through a, a, a wedding dance, but I, I've, I've looked into this and said, I, I like this. This is, you know, you've got the levels with bronze, and I can see all the things I'm gonna be able to add to this, but incrementally at my speed, nothing looks too intimidating. Um, and then it's inspiring. I, I forgot how you described the silver level with it. It's bronze, but flashy, right? And it's like, I want to get to that now. You know, it's like now really? that I've seen it. It's going to take me a while, but uh, I, I'm inspired. I was, I, you know, from, it was originally very defensive for me. I just, I'm a, you know, I'm here just to get through a wedding dance, but now it's like, no, I have a, I have a hobby. Oh, yeah. that's great. You know, most <laughs> men come in here because they're being drugged by their wives <laughs> to come in here. And I would say 80 to 90% of them, once they get the basics, they feel like they can do it. They get so excited. And some of the their female partners say, wow, you've turned him into a monster. All he wants to do now is dance. <laughs> so y'all kind of relate to that. Yeah. The other thing you did good, too, was the... The videos that we, we took with you and the other gentlemen as kind of demonstration they're only about a minute long but you went through all the maneuvers for the, the the steps you can do and the combinations for what foxtrot waltz and tango and 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 it was just it's it's inspiring you know i have it i look at that and i go can i make my promenade that smooth and it's like <laughs> one day i will do it in one day you know right now no. <laughs> okay so we want to invite you to um come out and be part of this 
and uh, the more the merrier. We need some ladies. We could use some more men too, but ladies, please come. I hear women always complaining that there's no men to dance with. So you must, you must know that we've got some really eligible dancers here <laughs> and they need partners. So we'd love for you to come next Tuesday. That is um, no, uh, November the 8th at 645. Please register in advance. And I think that's it. Anything else? You yeah, guys? Just, uh, once, once you start rolling, it uh, really becomes more motivating to just get more involved and keep layering those dance skills. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, one thing I'll uh, continuously say, like, it's a, it's a fun time. And every single time come in here, it always makes me wanting more. And I mean, I, I know it's we're progressing, and you know, eventually we're all going to be stepping towards gold. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Kevin. You want to you want to do that. You want to master that step and move on to the next combination. It just makes you want to do that. You know. Yeah. I didn't know it was so inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We hope to see you soon.